Have you not heard of that madman who lit a lantern in the bright morning hours, ran to the marketplace and cried incessantly, I seek God, I seek God. As many of those who did not believe in God were standing around just then, he provoked much laughter. Has he got lost, asked one. Did he lose his way like a child, asked another. Or is he hiding? Is he afraid of us? Has he gone on a voyage, emigrated? Thus they yelled and laughed. The madman jumped into their midst and pierced them with his eyes. Whither is God? he cried. I will tell you. We have killed him. You and I, all of us, are his murderers. But how did we do this? How could we drink up the sea? Who gave us the sponge to wipe away the entire horizon? What were we doing when we unchained this earth from its sun? Whither is it moving now? Whither are we moving away from all suns? Are we not plunging continually backward, sideward, forward in all directions? Is there still any up or down? Are we not straying us through an infinite nothing? Do we not feel the breath of empty space? Has it not become colder? Is not night continually closing in on us? Do we not need to light lanterns in the morning? Do we hear nothing as yet of the noise of the grave diggers who are burying God? Do we smell nothing as yet of the divine decomposition? Gods too decompose. God is dead. God remains dead. And we have killed him. How shall we comfort ourselves? The murderers of all murderers. What was holiest and mightiest of all that the world has yet owned has bled to death under our knives. Who will wipe this blood off us? What water is there for us to clean ourselves? What festivals of atonement? What sacred games shall we have to invent? Is not the greatness of this deed too great for us? Must we ourselves not become gods simply to appear worthy of it? There has never been a greater deed, and whoever is born after us, for the sake of this deed, he will belong to a higher history than all history hitherto. Here the madman fell silent and looked again at his listeners, and they too were silent stared at him in astonishment. At last he threw his lantern on the ground and it broke into pieces and went out. I have come too early, he said then. My time is not yet. This tremendous event is still on its way, still wandering. It has not yet reached the ears of men. Lightning and thunder require time. The light of the stars requires time. Deeds, though done, still require time to be seen and heard. This deed is still more distant from them than most distant stars, and yet they have done it themselves. It has been related further that on the same day the madman forced his way into several churches and there struck up his requiem eternum deo. Led out and called to account, he is said always to have replied nothing but what? After all, are these churches now, if they are not the tombs and sepulchres of God? That was the parable of the madman by Friedrich Nietzsche from his book, The Gay Science, written, I believe, in 1882. Now, he does indeed talk about the death of God. And uh, I thought you might be interested to read something that I read a couple of days ago. By, um, it was from a, a lecture given on the 8th of May, 2006, in uh, Washington, D.C. at the National Press Club. And uh, the, the subject of this, this lecture was, Is There a Global Resurgence of Religion? Uh, one of the speakers was um, a guy called Andrew Cohut. Um, basically, he's an independent pollster. 
founder of Princeton Survey Research Associates and a former president of the Gallup organization. He's now president of the Pew Research Center and serves as director of both the Pew Research Center for the People and the Press and the Pew Global Attitudes Project. Project. Uh, they are a Philadelphia-based public charity that serves the public interest by providing information, advancing policy solutions and supporting civic life. Now this guy sounds like to me he's pretty high up there in the, uh, in the echelons of, uh, of, of prediction if you like. And uh, this little quote from, from this um, lecture says a lot to me. And Andrew says, and a lot of this decline is really pretty modest. I looked at this chart, which is belief in God, the trend since 1945 to 2001, and my calculation at this rate of change is that it will take 327 years for the people in the West to no longer believe in God, for a belief in God to completely disappear in Western nations. I think in short, given the broad sweep of history, you're right, religion may be in decline in the West, but it has a very long way to go. Now, he sees 327 years as a very long way. I see 327 years as a blink of an eye. Cosmic eye, perhaps. 327 years it doesn't take a lot to work out. That means in the year 2,335, God will be officially dead. They bring a smile to your face, eh? No more yoke ups or gear ups or sable chickens trying to force their ideas down our throats and the throats of our children. Wouldn't that be something wonderful? I can't wait for the year 2335. If only somebody had said a few days ago that we might actually live that long due to the uh, advancements in science. Well, I for one hope I'm there.